Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. I got another tutorial for you guys, but first let's get this YouTube stuff out of the way. If you like the content, make sure to smash that like button. And then share it on your social media. While you're sharing it on your social media, go ahead and follow me on that bird app. The link is in the description. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and do that. Click that notification bell for all. If you've got any questions or comments, just leave them below the video and I'll get back to you guys. Those are the free and easy things that you can do to help support the channel. It really supports the channel and helps with the algorithm. If you want to support the channel directly and you think, you think the tutorials and stuff are worth it, go ahead and look down in the description. Use the Ko-Fi link for a one-time tip or the subscribe star to join as a channel member. Otherwise, underneath the YouTube video, use the join button or the super thanks button. All right, guys, let's get into this. Roll that intro. All right, for those that have been following my progress and my work, uh, you know that I've begun making models in Blender. I've been teaching myself Blender. And the hardest thing was not so much building the models. I kind of got that figured out. It was doing the textures. So I learned how to bake a diffuse texture and I learned how to bake a normal map in Blender, but I use other methods of making normal maps. And I also just learned how to make a environmental map in Blender, but there's also better, there's also other methods that I've found works absolutely. So, what we're going to do is, is, I just wanted to show you this model. Uh, I've already done the, the Curus part, so what I'm going to do is the pauldrons here on the sides. I already have the Curus done, and it's shiny like I wanted to. I want to make it really shiny. I'll show you guys a picture of that. Let me go get the picture right quick. Uh, here's the picture. And you can see that I've made it shiny like this. Now I wanna do the pauldrons, the thigh armor, and the helmet to match the armor here. And I wanna do the uh, steel shield here as well. But we're just gonna work on the pauldrons just for this tutorial. All right, so I actually don't need Blender. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close it. Don't need no modified images or nothing. And I'm going to go ahead and close that. Now, what I have is a program I that's called Shader Map 4. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Now, this is a free program. You can... You can get the, the professional version, whatever, but Shader Map 4 Basic is what I use. And I want to do the pauldrons. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to find my pauldrons texture that I made, and I'm going to load it into Shader Map 4. And it takes a couple of seconds. Now, with an environmental map, you're going to want it to be basically black and white. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to send the map to an external editor. Now this will send this to my earthen view and you can see that it's all like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna copy this. 
And then I'm going to open up Photoshop. And I'm going to click on new because I just copied it. It's 2048. And we're going to go ahead and paste that in there. And I'm going to flatten this object here. Like that. And I'm going to save this. Now I'm going to save this as, and it goes right to here. We're going to go ahead and scroll down until I find my pauldrons here. Click on that. And I'm going to change the image texture name to pauldrons underscore M. You can put EM, but M works. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save that. And that's saved. So, I don't need that no more. Now, I can close all this other stuff. What I need to do is I need to open up my uh, mesh that I have for the armor that I already have put in body slide with sliders and all that good malarkey. So, I'm going to go down. I'm going to find it, which it is galvanized female armor this one right here and i'm going to open this in nif scope and you can see it's nice and shiny in nif scope so i'm going to click on the pauldrons now the difference is is in the bs lighting shader properties it says environmental mapping right here but if we go to the BS shader properties here, you don't see that. So we need to add that flag in, environmental mapping. And then we need to do the textures. Now, first I need a um, cube map. And I have a shiny metallic cube map that I actually took from Fallout 4. And it works perfectly. It's metal chrome. So we're going to put that on there. And then we're going to go to our textures. Where we got the texture and for this armor. And it's an armor. And it's in the test armor. Now I have to find my Aldrin's M right here. So that's all good. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to save that. We're going to close it. We're going to open it back up and see how it looks. Doesn't really look like it's changed too much, huh? Well, that's okay. Because what we're going to do is, is now we're going to open up Body Slide. And once Body Slide's open, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open this up. And this is, I'm going to go to my pauldrons here. And I'm going to make sure that my Spec Power and Specular Strength is the same as the curse which it's specs uh strength of one specular power of 20 okay specular strength of one and uh it's 1.000 whatever you also have to change this from the default map to an environmental map. And there, there it is right there. It matches right up. Nice and shiny. That's what I that's what I'm looking for right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna save project as to project and I'm going to save. And I'm going to close body slide and reopen it. And once that's done, I just go ahead and build it. 
And once it's built, we will go ahead and go back in game and test to see if this all works correctly. Okay, guys, here we are in game with my test character cookie that I'm using. And as you can see, the pauldrons are nice and shiny, just like the armor. They got that, that gleam on them. That's what I'm looking for. And we'll walk over here and it changes with the lighting. Natural lighting, fire lighting, all that. I got this idea from doing this this sword that I made for this armor outfit, which you can see it here on my back. We'll pick it out of here. It's got gleam on it like that. It's got it catches the light and reflects really well. So I'll be uh adding this in and fixing this armor up and this armor will be available when i get it done and if you think and if you're thinking oh that's got a mandalorian vibe to it yeah that's what i was shooting for all right guys this tutorial is also going to be available on shaken mods and i will put a link for shader map 4 in the description and there's also a link for being able to request mod commissions on Shaken Mods. Um, you guys might not have known that I am now an official staff member of Shaken Mods to be able to make mods on commission. So if you want to commission a mod, go ahead and use that link in the description. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you guys like the content, don't forget to smash that like button. And then share it on your social media. When you share it on your social media, don't forget to follow me on that bird app. The link is in the description. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet already. And if you've got any questions or comments, leave them down below the video, and I'll get back to you guys. Those are all the free and easy things you can do to help support the channel. If you want to support the channel directly, use the Ko-Fi link in the description for a one-time tip or the subscribe star to join as a channel member. Or you can use the join button or the super thanks button underneath the video. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Remember, until next time, keep your sword sharp, don't be a milk drinker, and always watch the skies, traveler.